up, YouTube? You guys are probably wondering, why is Short Stack wearing a pink shirt? Good question. A couple years ago, I went a little overload with the preppy vests. I don't know. It's balling in certain circles. It takes up a lot of closet time these days. But I found good use for this video. Miss Connections. Pink. Love. I don't know if you guys know, but people write into certain websites or newspapers a thing called misconnections. And that's when you like meet someone or you see someone in public and you think you guys had a connection but you never really got to meet them. So you go online and write and post a message saying, oh I, I saw you and hope that they will see it and then get back to you, which never happens. But I have 3,000 subscribers now, so I think if I put a few of these misconnections online, I might be able to hook a few of these romances up. Short stack to the rescue. That's why I'm wearing the pink vest. So shut your mouth. And it's pretty cool, okay? It's not that bad. I'm gonna hit off a few of these misconnections. Today I picked the city of Chicago because it's one of my favorite cities in the world. So hopefully the short stack show can hook up some connections for you people in Chicago who watch the show. I don't even know if anyone in Chicago watches my show. If they don't, they better start. Fuckers. Misconnection number one. I don't know how many attractive redheads work at the Walgreens across from the video store, but if you know her or you are her, get at me. At first I thought it was just me, but today she winked at me. I want to know your story. Oh, and in case you wink at random people, I'm the guy with the tats, the ponytail, and the leather jacket. I don't know how else to describe me. You know me if you've seen me. Hey buddy, I know how to describe you. You're a loser. 1980s called. They want their style back. Misconnection number two. The bartender. I woke up this morning and realized what you meant when you said thank you. I'm a little slow. Sorry. I'll get you back. Do tell what she meant when she said thank you for the humongous tip you probably gave her. It meant nothing. She doesn't know who you are. She's not gonna go on the site and she's not gonna read your freaking post. We talked and it was your friend's birthday and your friend was annoying and you were from Naperville. And I'm starting to think these misconnections won't work. They're idiots who are writing on them. Misconnection fail. Bodybuilder at Lifetime Fitness. I see you there almost every single day. You're a real serious bodybuilder. Late 20s, early 30s, really cut. Guys really seem to stare at you. So do I. Just wanted to say hi. Hey, buddy, you go to the same gym as her. Walk up to her, tap her on her humongous trapezoid, and say, hi, muscle lady. Would you like to have a sexual relationship with me? She's a bodybuilder. She's gonna want a guy with a set of testicles. You can't even say hi to her. Come on. You know what, actually, after reading all those guys' misconnection letters, if any of those girls happen to watch this video, don't call those guys from Craigslist. Call me. Lowered expectations. Pamela, I love you with your giant boobies. Thanks for watching my video, YouTube. And guys, I think it'd be a good idea if we leave my comment section today for misconnections. So, you know, if you have one you want to leave, if there's someone you wish, uh, you want them to know how you feel, you know? Anything you can do, I can do better. I can do anything better than you. Yeah, yeah, I'm the boss, yeah, yeah, I like the salad, yeah, I'm the boss. Skills pay the bills, yeah. Okay, I'm sorry, video's done.